and you're riding a Tennessee walking horse, Miss Jennifer. Okay, now, look at this horse walk and shake his head. This is an ordinary flat foot walk, or this is just the right where he needs to be. A little showy type horse. Okay, now this is a Tennessee walking horse. There's three things that happen here. The horse is even in his gait, like the previous horse. He's overstriding his track, and he's doing what with his head? He's bobbing, if you want to call it. He's shaking. Now watch Miss Jennifer's horse when he turns the curve. He'll get more shake. Watch this. Right there. See that deeper shake right there? See it deeper? Now watch what happens. He'll lose a little shake right here. Slow down, Jennifer. Slow down. Now, releasing the gate. Now watch him, watch him start shaking his head more. Come around to me, he says. Come, come around. Now watch right there. See the head shake get deeper? The reason that head shake got deeper right there was because she's riding the inside rein to the outside of hand. That's a different story for another, another time. But there's something else very, very important here that Miss Jennifer's doing. She, we got to give her a, 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 a A plus on. Come here, Jennifer. Can you turn sideways and come in and address me? And I can show both sides of the audience. Oh, let your heart not be troubled. If you watch my DVD series, and you'll see where this horse's eye is. And if I was to draw a line from this eye back to Miss Jennifer's hip, how low is the head? See where the head is? This is why she's getting the driving action. This is why she's getting a much solid four-beat gait. And this horse is going from a flat foot walk to a running walk to a flat foot walk to a running walk in the right position. And so is Miss Mary's horse. Okay, now let me come over here and show you. If I draw a line from, from Jennifer's eye of this horse, put a string there, and come straight back, see where that horse is? See where that head is? Hey, Dave, the higher the horse's head, the less brains. The lower the horse's head, more brains. Never forget it. And if you're in the, if you ascribe to the show world, you want to actually bring this horse's head up just a little bit more to get this horse more expression and more engagement on the high quarters. And I'll show you how to do that here just real quick with this horse. Come around through here again. Okay, put your horse in a flat foot wall. Okay, very good. Jennifer, turn your thumbs up for me just a little bit, like this. Now, very gently, I want you to lift your hands up. Up, up, release, release, release. Now, did you see that change? Did you see the horse is off the forehand right there? Right there, the horse is off the forehand. Bump your hand up a little bit, darling. And hold up. Squeeze. Squeeze your leg. Now, now release it. Release it. Right there, the horse is off the forehand. Did you feel a little bit more powerful there, sis? That's what you're missing in your riding. That's that power punch. And all she did was a half halt to the horse. But what is nice about this animal is that this horse is remaining calm and allowing her to do that without overreacting. You see it? Now, stop and go real slow. Now listen to me. How slow can you go? Loose rein. Come on. Loose rein. How slow can you go? Real loose. How slow can you go? Look at the head. This is the reward that he gets. Miss Jennifer's giving him a reward or her a reward for doing a great job. Did you hear the horse go? <laughs> He's just relaxed in his mind for you. Great. Great. Good job, Miss Jennifer. Thank you. Okay, give me some more horses. Another horse down here. Doesn't matter. I love these little ice landings. Come here, honey, and tell me your name so I can get your name. 